Russia. Alexander Sergeev and Alexei Shikunov. In lane two from Hungary, Sombo Noe and Petter Vass. In lane three from Germany, Marius Radov and Karl Weisser. Lane four from Serbia, Simo Boltic and Vladimir Toruborov. In lane five from Australia, Riley Fitzsimmons and Jordan Woods. In lane six from the Czech Republic, Jakub Spitzer and Jak Jakub Zavril. In lane seven from Sweden, Albert Pettersson and Joachim Lindberg. Lane eight, Slovakia, Marek Krajcevic and Matej Mikalek. Lane nine, Slovenia, Alan Opolonio and Simon Blazovic. And it's lane four, Serbia, who take the lead out of the blocks. Russia also going strongly out in lane one. Hungary alongside them and Germany there as well. So out the front, it's the four crews in the far four lanes. Russia, Hungary, Germany and Serbia. Para já a liderança para a equipa da Sérvia na pista número 4. Eles são medalha de bronze absoluto no campeonato do mundo absoluto ano passado em Moscovo e foram prata no Mundial de Sub-23 a assumirem para já a liderança. À sua direita está a equipa da Alemanha, o Marius Radov e o Karl Weiss, campeões da Europa em Júniors em 2012 no K4. E o Karl Weiss ele foi campeão da Europa em 2014 também, uh, sozinho, quarto Mundial uh, no Capa 4 também e a equipa da Austrália com o Riley Fitzsimmons e o Jordan Wood a chegar-se à liderança So Riley Fitzsimmons and Jordan Wood of Australia after not the best start in the world are moving up to within inches of the nose of the Serbian crew Fitzsimmons and Wood now in slightly in the lead ahead of Serbia those guys just going nose to nose it's neck and neck between those two boats out the front Fitzsimmons and Wood of Australia in the red boat. They were the fastest qualifiers. They won their heat by three seconds. Serbia now reacting to that challenge from the Australians. Vladimir Toruborov panning in the back of that boat. So here's the Serbians that go through in first ahead of Australia. But Toruborov was bronze medalist at the Senior World Championships with Marko Tomicevic last year. And this pair. Voltic and Tarubarov of Serbia were the silver medalists in Zegerd last year. They're not going to be wanting to settle for the silver again this year. But Australia are going to have something to say about that. They now have the lead again. In lane six, it's the Czech Republic who are mounting a challenge. So are Hungary in lane two. Hungary, the junior world and European champions two years ago. Half a boat length lead now for Fitzsimmons and Wood of Australia. Já antevíamos uma luta cerrada entre a Austrália e a equipa da Sérvia, o australiano Riley Fitzsimmons, o que está na frente. Ele foi bronze no K4 Júnior no Mundial o ano passado, é muito jovem ainda. E o Jordan Wood, vice-campeão do mundo, sub-23 em K1. Aqui estão eles na liderança. Atenção à pista número 2, a Hungria, os campeões do mundo Júnior e da Europa 2013 em K2 e K4. Zomber Noé e o Petr Vaz a subir. So 150 meters to go. Can Australia hold on to this lead? They have half a boat length out in lane two. It's Hungary who are mounting the challenge. The Czech Republic alongside them as well. Australia not losing any, any, any distance at the moment. As they come into the last 100 meters, the pressure is on for Australia now. Czech Republic slipping back. Hungary remain there out in lane two. Just yards to go now in this A-final. And it will be Australia who take the gold medal. The Czech Republic takes silver. And Hungary cross the line in bronze. E a Austrália a vencer com o tempo de 3.16. Há pouco a Espanha fez 3.19 aqui a retirar em 3 wow. segundos ao tempo de Espanha. Impressionante. Segundo lugar para a equipa da República Checa, Jakub Spicar e Jakub Zavrel. Que grande prova desta República Checa aqui na ponta final. A passarem pelo Zomber Noé e o Petr Vaz da Hungria que vão se contentar com a medalha de bronze. Grande prova também. Excelente o nível de repetição da largada de Austrália. Na imagem. Bonita esta imagem. So gold medal for Riley Fitzsimmons and Jordan Wood of Australia. They were nowhere to be seen out of the blocks. But they battled back over the first 250 
and nobody could challenge them for the rest of the race. Riley Fitzsimmons won a bronze in the Junior K4 last year. Jordan Wood won a silver in the under 23 K1. And this year, for both of them, the under 23 World Championships, it's a gold in the K2000. The Czech Republic, they mounted that battle. They challenged the Australians. They didn't have enough. They take the silver medal. Zavril won silver in the K2000 at the Junior Worlds and Europeans last year. A silver now at the under 23s for him with Jakub Spitzar. And it's the Hungarians, the 2013 Junior World and European Champions, who take the bronze. So 3.15.824, the time for Fitzsimmons and Wood of Australia, the gold medal time in the under 23. <laughs> Senhoras e senhores, apresentamos os medalhados do K2 Sub-23 masculino 1000 metros. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the medalists of the under 23 men's K2 1000 meters. As medalhas serão entregues por Emílio Torrão, presidente da Câmara Municipal de Montemoro Velho e pela team leader da Austrália. The medals will be presented by the mayor of Montemoro Velho, Emílio Torrão, and the team leader of Australia. E os medalhados de bronze, Zombor Noé, Peter Vass da Hungria. The bronze medalists representing Hungary, Zombor Noé and Peter Vass. E os medalhados de prata, Jakub Spikar, Jakub Zavrel, da República Checa. The silver medalists representing the Czech Republic, Jakub Spitsa and Jakub Zavrel. E os medalhados de ouro e vencedores do Campeonato do Mundo, Riley Fitzsimmons, Jordan Wood, da Austrália. E os gold medalists e world champions, representing Australia, Riley Fitzsimmons e Jordan Wood. Por favor, levantem-se para escutar o hino nacional da Austrália. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Australia.
nosso aplauso aos medalhados do Campeonato do Mundo de Júnior e Sub-23 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for your 2015 World Championship medalists.